Today I'm going to show you how to use the Cricut Design Space app. I'm going to show you how to use the slice option whilst making an iron-on decal for a toddler boy's shirt. So to start you're going to click a new project and then we are going to find the image we downloaded to our phone which is going to be this B today and then you'll click the like magic wand to mask out all of the white and just click the whites or in the case of the image you're using whatever colors you don't want so I just wanted to keep all of the black lines then we'll click next and we'll just name it and after that's been uploaded we'll click on the image and insert it into our map because this is for a toddler shirt I'm going to make it about six inches wide which will automatically make it four and a half inches tall and I'm just gonna move it up zoom in a little bit add a text box and just find the text I want to use for it um, Since it's a little boy, I have to more find a more masculine text. Maybe this one. I'm going to insert his initials. And edit it so it's a different color so it makes it easier to see when I go to slice it out. to zoom in so I can position it correctly and size it. And I think that's just about right for me. Now if you were to leave it like this, oops, I'll undo that. If you were to leave it like this, it would cut out two different mats. Uh, the blue and the black in two different uh, mats. So instead of that, we're going to select all. We're going to go to actions. And we are going to slice out the letters. So instead of having two different colors, it just cuts one color and takes out the letters. We can delete these. The thing to remember with slicing is that it can only go through two layers. So you, if it were more than that, you would have to choose only the two that you wanted to slice through first, and then the second, if that were to be the case. So we are going to print it just like this. We're going to save the project as his initials with what it is and it's going to save and from there we're going to make it it'll give you two layers so you if it were more than that you would have to choose only the two that you wanted to slice through first and then the second if that were to be the case. So we are going to print it. We're going to save the project as his initials with what it is. And it's going to save. And because this is going to become an iron-on, we're going to go to edit, and we're going to flip it horizontally, and that way all of your letters are reversed. We'll go to make it, we'll replace what we had, 
if you wish to move it, like you're using a scrap piece of vinyl, or in this case, iron-on, you can move it to wherever you need it to be. But we'll continue. It says make sure it's mirrored. I'm not entirely sure how to mirror something in the app. So that is why we flipped it horizontally before we came to the printing. So then we go, we have our setting turned to iron on. You can also go to custom setting and click whatever you have on your favorites or look up all materials. In this case, we're using iron on. Oops. And I'm not sure why it's not loading, but we'll just click that one. And then it's all set to go. And so from here, we're going to load our map. And press the Cricut button. And it'll begin cutting, and this is the screen you'll get whilst cutting. When it's done cutting, it'll ask you to unload your mat. So you'll click that button. And then you're all ready to weed and iron on your project. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll definitely dig deeper into the Cricut Design Space app on your phone because I know it's really hard to find videos that just show you the phone options. So I'll see you next time. Bye.